Good morning, Mr. Dara. Morning. And uh, we are standing here at the uh, strawberry farm on the top of the Boku Mountain. And uh, Mr. Dara, you are a Korean. And uh, you speak my very well, sir. Oh, you can Thank walk, you. sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, today we are going to do the interview in English. Uh, so I want to know about uh, your farm a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when was it created and how big it is? And okay. when did you come uh, to work here at the farm, sir? Okay, uh, personally, I've been here uh, in Cambodia for 16 years. 16 years? 16 oh years. But I started working uh, together with a farm owner uh, from uh, last year. Mm. So just one year. And I'm in charge of uh, tourism. Of this farm because this uh, farm is not just a farm it's a uh, they they call it agrotourism place agrotourism, agrotourism. Yes, yes. Uh, agriculture and tourism yes, yes. mix yeah so i'm in charge of the tourism sector of this farm so i, I uh, operate the facebook page of uh, uh of this farm and i uh, you know do the marketing for this farm Yes, sir. So how, how big is this farm, sir? Like, for example, the area and also the production, let's say. Yeah, uh, this land is from uh, Soka. Yeah, and we rent uh, this place and uh, the total area is uh, almost one hectare. One hectare. One hectare. But now we are using only 30 or 40 percent of the uh, land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have planned to expand more. Yes, sir. And uh, <coughs> uh, judging about, you know, uh, Boko Mountain, like, um, is it the only place that you can grow uh, strawberry in Cambodia because of the elevation, uh, mm. the climate, something like that, sir? Uh, I cannot say if this is the only place, but after uh, studying, mm -hmm. uh, our own study, yes, uh, we decided to do it on this uh, area uh, because, you know, Poco Mountain is... Uh, because we not just focus on the agriculture, but we focus also on the tourism. So yes. uh, Poco is in Kampo province and Kampo province is famous for its tourism. And we, uh, the government also has planned to expand um, uh, tourism more for Kampo area. So we decided to do here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so let's say uh, per day, how many kilo of uh, strawberry can you harvest? And can you harvest the same amount every day? I mean, all year round, or you know, you have like peak production <coughs> and low production, something like that. Uh, actually, we are still studying because oh. we just opened one year, so we are uh, collecting the data, data yeah, yes. to find the right way. Uh, but uh, at the moment, we produce uh, about 15 to 20 kilograms per day. Per day. And uh, we uh, harvest uh, every day and every month. Mm. So, so that, that's one of the good points of our farm compared to like in Korea. Yeah. So uh, comparing a bit to Korea, like what is the difference between? Uh, I mean, is this species uh, native to to a certain country? Uh, if I may ask. Uh, even in Korea, there are lots of kinds of strawberries they oh. grow in in Korea, uh, because each uh, type of strawberry has its uh, specific uh, mm, points. Point. Yeah. In terms of uh, the shape, or in terms of the texture, in terms of the uh, size. Yeah, but uh, our strawberry is not very big, not very small, but the shape is a heart shape. Mm -hmm. And it's not very sweet, but uh, it's sour and sweet. So what is the name of this uh, strawberry that you are making? Uh, I don't know uh, how they call it in English or other language, but... Uh, but is it like a in, popular, in Korea, one? popular one, maybe? Yeah, one of the popular ones, mm. yeah. yeah. It's called Koso in, in Korea. Yeah, I guess yeah. So. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, let's say about a strawberry, um, is it a difficult plan to, you know, to, to nurture, like compared to other, let's say, you know, like, let's say a blueberry or blackberry or something like that? Uh, from what I heard from the farm owner, it, yes. uh, the strawberry is kind of a, a little bit difficult plant to uh, grow because we need to take care of the strawberry like it is like a small baby, you know. Yes. We have to control everything, uh, the humidity and light and the temperature also. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, where do you distribute this strawberry when, when it is harvested? Mm, because our production is still uh, quite limited. Mm -hmm. We don't produce uh, very much at the moment. So we only sell uh, in two places, in our farm. And there's one uh, store, our own store in Phnom Penh, in Sensok. 
So it's only Boko and Phnom Penh uh, normally. Yeah, yeah. You do not export uh, abroad yet. Not no. yet, not yet. We cannot export because uh, if our business uh, doesn't grow to a certain size, we cannot trade. We cannot yes. trade. It's just a it's production e economic for economic scale. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to expand more so that we can grow. I mean, harvest more so that we can export uh, and steadily, uh, steadily, st steady uh, supply. Uh, you mentioned something that uh, because I'm not, you know, people. I'm not a person who really is skillful in uh, plantation. But you say that the strawberry here is not as uh, good as the one in Korea. You said mm -hmm. like eighty percent or something mm -hmm. like that. And you mm -hmm. said you mentioned sour. Mm -hmm. Is this this strawberry here is a bit soury? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so how do you measure quality? Like uh, because you know taste is very subjective. You know people. Yeah, might yeah. taste differently. Yeah, yeah. Usually they use the uh, uh, the instrument oh, to okay. uh, check the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the sweeter, the better. Uh, it depends on the market, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah. It depends on how they use. Like for example, in uh, like bakery. Yes. Uh, like making a cake, oh. the cream is uh, sweet already, mm. so we don't need the the strawberry too sweet. Yeah, I see. Uh, usually, they focus on more on the shape mm -hmm. because they have to be shown to people who get mm. the cake, you know, for the birthday. So they're more focused on the shape and the color, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it depends on the market of the strawberry. So if uh, you are going to make a smoothie, maybe you need a sweeter one more than a sour one, let's say. Yeah, uh, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, you can say that. You can say yeah. that. But it also depends on the how they make it. You know, they can put uh, more sugar or syrup, mm. or they can mix with other things. It's it, it's up to the sellers. Yes, yeah. Sir. And uh, maybe from your perspective, sir, uh, how do you think about the uh, strawberry market in Cambodia? Because uh, you know we live in a tropical terrain, mm -hmm. so we have like an abundance of bananas and mangoes mm -hmm. so we want to try something new so do yeah. you see that okay maybe strawberry can be a, a boom in in fruit consumption in cambodia uh i think it already uh, started oh, uh, okay. when we see the market in phnom Penh, for example we saw uh, more uh, participants i mean the market yeah they're they're importing more and uh, now even even you can see uh, people selling the strawberry maybe from I don't know maybe Egypt or other country near near country yes. a neighboring country they they sell quite cheap price and mm. even in some cafeteria they also have the new uh, new products like uh, strawberry latte mm. yeah, yeah, I saw the trend it's yes, booming yes. yeah I mean compared to uh, before. Yes, sir. And one last question, sir. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, uh, highlight it or not. So the the box problem is a uh, is a uh, like a uh, something important here because uh, you need to like uh, keep them keep them uh, away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, usually uh, farmers uh, will always uh, know. They they already know about the insects. Mm. Yeah, insects. Some insects uh, they. Uh, come into the farm area and then they lay eggs and mm. then they, they can, it affects to the quality of the fruit so that's why we control and we all uh, everywhere we have the uh, net yes and yes. we also have some uh, a few doors to control the entrance yeah that's one of the important things yeah. so normally uh, strawberry can be made or can be planted just like any other trees but uh, in order to maximize uh, the quality and the production uh, we need to to do extra infrastructure to keep uh, the insects out yeah uh, like uh, other plants uh, it's it's the agriculture right mm -hmm. so we have to uh, control many things mm -hmm. you know like sunlight and rain water and humidity and everything uh, sometimes we cannot control them everything mm -hmm. but the to control, uh, even though we cannot control 100%, but at least we have this we, uh, we try system, to maximize, yes. yeah, smart farm system, and then we can uh, minimize the risk, yeah, and uh, maximize the production. And uh, personally, uh, personally, to you, said you like strawberry. <laughs> uh, for me, yeah, of course, of course. It's just that mm. uh, it's still quite expensive mm. to uh, purchase like every day. Every, so it's yeah, like you know, more like occasionally. Yeah, yeah, purchased, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, personally, I like it.
Yes, I sir. like it very much, yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, sir, uh, we are now standing at your, let's say, a welcoming uh, room where you receive a tour tourists from, from Cambodia and I suppose uh, abroad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, per day, like uh, on average or per month, uh, how many uh, tourists do you receive, uh, sir? Uh, mm -hmm. It depends on the season and it depends on the month. Uh, when there's uh, lots of uh, holidays, mm -hmm. we have uh, more uh, visitors than other months. So like but Khmer New Year, many yeah, visitors? Yeah, like for example, yeah. uh, April, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like uh, Chumban, Choch Nam, yeah, we get more visitors uh, than other uh, months uh, of the year. But uh, usually we uh, receive uh, visitors uh, a month, about almost a thousand. Almost a thousand yeah. visitors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you get a lot of Korean visitors coming here? Uh, not many foreigners visiting oh, here. Okay. Uh, most of them are uh, Cambodian, mm -hmm. yeah, local. They come from Phnom Penh and uh, they come from other provinces. Sometimes from uh, Banti Minche, uh, from uh, uh, provinces that are mm. uh, far from here, they also come. And uh, sir, so like, uh, you know, when they come here, they take a look at your strawberry. Do they buy it afterward, you know, normally, or they just come here to take photos and then maybe they, they go back? A uh, certain percentage of them they buy, mm. but not every, not, not everyone, everyone, because you know it's uh, quite expensive. Yes, yes. I mean it's, uh, it doesn't mean that we sell expensive, but it, the strawberry yeah. is has a quite expensive price, so not everyone buys them, but uh, they want to mm. taste, they want to buy. So how much do you sell per kilo? Uh, we sell twenty five dollars per kilo. Per kilo, yeah. yeah. And we also okay. sell half kilo, yeah, 500 gram at 12.5. Yes, sir. And also, you know, when, when tourists and agriculture come together, like, uh, do, do they, like, you know, uh, let's say, interfere with the plan? Like, how, how do you tell the tourists, you know, to respect the plan when they come here? Yeah, uh, yeah it's a uh, quite sensitive question. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, if we get uh, the visitors, it definitely affects to the plant, mm. but we try to control them because uh, the two, we cannot get them all, but we try to minimize the bad effects of getting tourists. Yes, okay. so like to not, not to peel the leaf or the, the fruit, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. because uh, you know, when they touch or sometimes, because they come as a family, mm -hmm. sometimes we have a little children, yeah, yeah, children, yeah. kids, <laughs> yeah, they're sometimes uncontrollable. Yes. And uh, you know, they, they want, they like touching, they like uh, picking, so um, we try to guide them. Yeah, it, it's one of the interesting point and mm -hmm. one of the difficult point as well. Well, at the end of the day, it is still agro-tourism in yes, the name. Yeah, yes, yeah. we okay. have to uh, manage both. Mm -hmm. Yeah.